A major milestone is looming for the Twin Cities' latest $3 billion light rail project. Even as the controversial Southwest light rail remains incomplete, Metro Transit is pushing ahead with plans for the Blue Line extension. It's designed to go from Minneapolis north through Robbinsdale, Crystal, all the way to Brooklyn Park. But investigative reporter Eric Grasmussen, who's been following this for years, found leaders of some of those cities Despite their vocal opposition, it's not going to be enough to stop this, maybe. Everybody was looking forward to this moment. This next stage of the process is called municipal consent. Each of the cities on the line will start taking votes as early as next week. But we've learned project managers for Metro Transit are still able to move forward, whether they get that consent or not. Just like Highway 81 cuts Robbinsdale in half. This is going to turn from a two lane each way to a one lane each way. This community is divided. I think mass transit is awesome in places where it works. Split. So I truly in my whole heart hope this doesn't go through. Over plans to send blue line trains right down the middle of this same road. Just right up the BNSF. Right, right. Did you hear that? Go light rail. Is I thought he said no light rail. Oh, he might have said that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. All my favorite things to do. Just outside his back gate. There is no confusing what side homeowner Aaron McMenemy is on. Why are people so passionate about this, you think? Because they feel it's being forced through. A new light rail station is slated to go up just steps from his property. So close you can see McMenemy's house in this new animation just shared with five investigates. I think that someone needs to take a stand, and I know that others have tried, but I, I think that it really does start with another government body being able to step in and say, Let's let's get this playing field equal. Less than two miles away. I think we're going to end up voting no. Crystal Mayor Jim Adams is talking about municipal consent. By early next month, each city on the proposed Blue Line extension will vote yes or no on the current design of the project. The dictionary tells us consent means permission for something to happen. But don't tell that to Metro Transit. When we check the small print, it turns out they say not a decision-making process for whether or not to build the project. The way I describe it to people when, I, when they don't understand the process, I say, well, municipal consent is three ways to yes. You can say yes, or you can say no with a pathway to yes, or you can just not vote on it and it will de be deemed yes. That's what it is. Does anybody think a no vote is gonna stop this project? I, I don't know. We've been taking feedback from the cities for, for years now. And Nick Thompson is Deputy General Manager for Metro Transit and Project Director for the Blue Line Extension. What is your sense of the community's support for this project? We're seeing pretty strong support. We've been having public hearings this summer for the environmental impact statement. I believe that this extension would be a great amenity for the communities it will go through. We heard some of that support as well at this meeting in Minneapolis last month. Yet when five investigates reviewed hundreds of pages of written feedback, the opposition was overwhelming. Hard to miss comments like these, too expensive, stop before it's too late, and a special message from one woman in Robbinsdale, writing, congratulations, you've stirred up the Kraken in me, and I will continue to argue against the Blue Line project to my last breath. Are you troubled at all that there are still leaders, at least in the cities of Crystal and Robbinsdale, who either say they don't support it or at least have serious concerns? It is, they all get to make their decision as elected officials in the cities, and this is a point we go get to ask them what their opinion is. I think there's a, a an astute community that says, okay, we're being sold something here, and they don't really care about our opinion. Adams questions the impact of reduced lanes on vehicle traffic, both on Highway 81 and nearby West Broadway. In Robbinsdale, I think we're the little sister. Mayor Bill Blonigan says project managers relocated the planned North Memorial Station to Lowry Avenue without telling him or the city manager. We had no idea. It's a done deal because you know why? Minneapolis says, we're the big brother, you're the little sister, this is how it's going to happen. Is that fair? They, they're subject to their own opinions, but we, we really want them as partners on this project. But are they equal partners, I guess, as he asked? Is we are building said. a major infrastructure project in each of those cities, and we, we see them as key partners, just like Minneapolis, Brooklyn Park, and Hennepin County, and others. They're Equal partners? They're key partners, yes. 
One other partner that still has to weigh in? The Federal Transit Administration. Metro Transit is asking the feds to cover about half of the $3 billion price tag for the Blue Line extension. That request is still pending. I mean, gosh, you think about how much has already been invested in this at this point. You've got a lot riding on that. Right, right. We, you know, we can forecast whether we're eligible for federal funds in this position. This project is sitting very competitively. No matter how you slice it, you've got a lot of change coming to this corridor right here. It's coming, and there will be a lot of good things that come from it. We're just trying to mitigate what happens. Now, over the last month, we contacted every city council member in both Robbinsdale and Crystal, among others. We found mixed feelings about the current design of the Blue Line extension, even from some of those who have supported the project. Now, those cities are expected to take their votes next Tuesday, but of course, there's also Brooklyn Park, Minneapolis, and Hennepin County, who will all weigh in before October 10th. Yeah, and when does the vote matter? Again? He didn't really answer your question about equal partners. He kept saying key partners. Well, at least we had a chance to sit down and talk about yeah. it, and I have a feeling we'll be asking more questions okay. going forward. Eric, thank you so much.